Gravel riding sits in the middle ground between full-on road riding and mountain biking. However, that does raise the question of what is the best riding kit to wear for a gravel adventure? Should you dress in aerodynamic but more fragile road cycling kit? Or is baggy and flappy but durable and comfortable mountain bike clothing the way forwards? Each style definitely has its own benefits, so in the past, picking items from either side to reach a compromise has been the way forwards. But our new Merida Camu Gravel Clothing Collection has been designed from the ground up to suit gravel riders. Though, as you'll see, there are also plenty of features that will suit road, mountain and touring bikers too. For this video, I've roped in a professional model to help me show the kit off. Uh, literally no expense has been spared. Sorry, spent. The Camu Gravel range consists of bib shorts, a short sleeve jersey, a gilet, a windproof hoodie plus a windproof jacket and a waterproof jacket. You can use any of the pieces individually or layer them up, but the one thing they have in common is that a cut that's designed to be a great compromise between the two extremes of road and mountain biking. The fit is designed to be much tighter than mountain biking kit for good aerodynamic performance, but it's a little bit more relaxed than full on road cycling kit so there's more freedom to move and plenty of comfort, especially in the outer layers. We'll kick things off with the shorts. You'll notice that these aren't baggies and that's because having fewer layers to rub together or crease will keep you much more comfortable on a big day on the gravel bike. They're based on a high-end multi-panel road bike bib short to deliver maximum comfort even on long days in the saddle. The panels are joined with double stitched flat lock seams while there's a ventilated mesh back and these perforated flat stretch straps and silicon grippers on the lower legs to keep them comfortable and secure. The chamois is a vital part of any cycling short and these get an Italian made high density four layer pad that's quick drying and designed to absorb shocks while not chafing. Plus it's got this rather cool psychedelic finish. However, the party piece of these bibs is they combine all of that performance and comfort with the practicality of a baggy short by having these two pockets on either leg that's ideal for stashing gels and snacks. I think the double banana leg is a particularly strong look. The next piece of the kit is this jersey. It's made from a highly wicking synthetic fabric, but one that's been brushed to give the soft and comfortable feel that you might expect from a merino wool top. There's a short zip on the front with a small cover that prevents you trapping skin or hair in there when you'd be pulling it up in a hurry. At the back, there are these three traditional star pockets for putting bits and pieces in, with elasticated hems to stop it all falling back out. As the temperature drops, the perfect pairing with the jersey is this gilet. It's small and lightweight enough to stick into a jersey pocket, but the windproof and water resistant front and shoulder panels should keep you warm and the worst of the water off you. At the back, it's mesh to stop you overheating, while the hem has a silicon gripper to keep it firmly in place. There's a full length zip too, so you can go full pro and take it on or off while you're still riding. Upping the ante when it comes to bad weather is this rain jacket that has a proper wind and waterproof outer shell to keep you nice and dry, though there's also these neat shoulder vents to stop you drowning in your own sweat. The full length zip gets a nice broad guard on the inside to prevent water or drafts from getting in that way, plus it means the zip won't get caught on the fabric when you do it up one handed and stops your neck from getting pinched too. At the rear, there's a zipped waterproof pocket and a broad elasticated rear hem with silicon grippers to stop the top riding up. Although I don't have it here, we also make a long sleeved windproof zip up jersey if you don't need a full waterproof. This windproof hoodie is one of the most versatile bits of clothing in the lineup, with a relaxed cut that works well off the bike too. The outer shell fabric is water resistant as well as windproof, and there's plenty of ventilation offer from the large back vents to stop you overheating along with a full length front zip. You get three large zipped pockets with one on either side plus another on the chest, so there's plenty of space for stashing snacks and so on. The cuffs are double layered with an elasticated thumb loop that holds it in place and prevents the wind from getting in up the sleeve, and there's also a waist pull cord to keep it tight there too. The hood itself is large enough to either go over or under your helmet, and there's an elasticated pull cord to secure it in place around the brow. It's the ideal bit of kit for a chillier day, and thanks to the lightweight construction, it's also well suited to bike packing adventures. It's that sort of versatility that's the key with all of the kit here. You can use it for gravel riding, but it's equally well suited to cycle touring trips. It'll work really well for cross-country mountain biking if you don't want the drag of baggies, 
or it's also suited to bigger road cycling trips where the comfortable fit and extra carrying capacity on offer can really come in handy. It's worth noting that all the pieces in the lineup come with alternate colours, with this grey pepper kit that you've seen here giving a nicely understated look, or the bolder golden brown turmeric and deep red sumac colour options on offer if you want to stand out a little more. Each piece comes in six sizes from extra small to double XL, and just for reference I'm 172 centimetres tall, not particularly heavily built, and the small is a nice sporty fit for me. If you'd like more information on the Camu Gravel clothing lineup, you can check out all the details on the Merida International website. Just look for a link in the description down below. For pricing and availability in your region, it's best to get in touch with your national distributor. You can find a link with their contact details in the description too. As ever, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to our channel using the link just up here to stay up to date with everything Merida with everything from how-to guides and tech explainers to athlete videos going up all the time. Anyway, stay safe and I'll see you next time.